Let's start by creating a new workspace for our HTTP application. Um, again, typically a platform team is responsible for creating a workspace object. So for us, this workspace object will just have a single namespace and a single cluster. And similar to how we did before, we export the in-mesh services to, um, that have the label, exposed label to the gateway workspace and we import the services into the, uh, into the gateway workspace. And now we can go to the UI and see this HTTP bin workspace being created. And so far, everything looks good. So now we're going to expose it through the glue gateway. This time, I want to do something a little bit different where we want to show the use case of of migrating an application. Imagine you have your application in a VM or something and you want to move it to a container inside the Kubernetes cluster environment. So to represent this legacy VM, we're going to create an external service that represents like, for example, HTTP bin.org, which provides the same capabilities as our local HTTP bin service. So in this example, imagine HTTP bin.org is the address of your VM running somewhere. So we're going to represent that. So we're going to by creating this external service object, which glue will pick up and create Istio service entry objects to represent them in the Istio's registry. And then after that, we can create a normal route table where I want us to capture any request that comes into slash get and pass that to and route that to the external service that I just created. So essentially we're, we're going to send traffic to the gateway and the gateway is just going to send a hundred percent of that traffic to this external service. That's, that's representing my VM. So now if we go to this browser and, and if I do slash get, I'm able to access the service that is running, um, that is running at an HTTP bin.org. So let me go make sure that I'm using my right IP address. So let's verify that real quick. Hit refresh. Okay. There it goes. So now I'm able to access my service and you can see that this service is actually responding from HTTP bin.org. And we can tell that because we can look at this Amazon trace ID header. Um, so note this field because next we're going to start splitting traffic between this external service and my local HTTP bin service. So sometimes you'll see the trace ID and sometimes you won't. And that's how you can tell if it's going to local or the remote service. So now let's use the gateway to slowly transition traffic from, uh, from remote to local. So in this example, we'll just do 50, 50, but you could do 90, 10 or, you know, any percentage so that you can do a canary incremental migration from the VM workload to the, the workload that's inside the Kubernetes cluster. So let's apply this, this 50, 50 rule. Now 50% of the traffic should be going to the external one and 50% should go to the local one. So now if I go back and hit refresh, so now sometimes I won't get the, the trace ID. So that's, that means it's hitting the local version. And then sometimes we'll hit the remote version. So, so today, actually, the remote version, HTTP bin.org, is actually responding really slow, or sometimes we're getting this gateway timeout, and that's because there's a problem with the HTTP bin.org service. So sometimes it's working and sometimes it's not. So because now we're splitting between local and remote, whenever it accesses the remote service, sometimes it doesn't respond. So now... Um, if I validated that my local service is running fine, I'm going to modify my, my weights. So now I'll just update my route table to send hundred percent of the traffic to the in mesh, uh, in, in the pod service that's running in the Kubernetes cluster. So let's apply the new route table. 
And now if I go back and hit refresh, now I should get 100% of the traffic should be going to my local service. And we can also see this in the UI by, you know, let's explore the UI and go to the routing tab. And then I can see the new route that I have created called HTTP bin. And then when a request comes to slash get with no special other matchers, it's going to be send all that traffic to the local HTTP bin service.